President Donald Trump on Wednesday harshly rebuked the Federal Reserve, accusing the central bank and Fed Chair Jerome Powell of having no guts by not meeting out a more aggressive interest rate cut as the global economy slows. The Federal Reserve, on Wednesday cut interest rates again, by 25 basis points to a new target range of 1.75% to 2%, and telegraphed a strong likelihood of, at least one more rate cut, by the end of the year. However, some on Wall Street anticipated a more aggressive easing of 50 basis points, particularly with financial markets conditions tightening. Indeed, markets sank to their lows of the day as investors digested, the Fed's latest decision, and what divided officials meant for the prospect of more monetary stimulus. Trump tweeted that the central bank lacked vision as well as clear communication, continuing his war of words against the Fed and the man he handpicked to lead the institution. Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve fail again. No guts, no sense, no vision. A terrible communicator. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, September 18, 2019 The central bank's decision and its dot plot of future rate expectations indicated a clearly dovish bias. However, the market's reaction suggested disappointment that a deeper easing campaign could pull rates even lower. Bottom line, there is now a likelihood that as of today, this might be the last rate cut of the year as the mid-course adjustment process continues but could be done, noted Peter Bookvar, chief investment officer at Bleakley Advisory Group. So call this a hawkish cut. The stock market is of course disappointed with the limit on the amount of candy they'll get, but more rate cuts assumes an ever-slowing economy and that's not something to cheer for, he added. The president's response comes a week after he issued a call for the Fed to engineer rates to zero or less, and backed negative yields as part of a strategy to cut U.S. borrowing costs and stimulate growth. With the world economy sandbagged by the downside risks of the U.S.-China trade war, Trump has lashed out repeatedly at the central bank and Fed Chair Jerome Powell. Last week, the president called the central bank boneheads for missing out on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity presented by historically low yields. Still, the Fed chief enjoys support from investors and top executives on Wall Street. Jay Powell is a quality human being. He's quite bright. He's quite knowledgeable, Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, told Yahoo Finance in a roundtable interview with reporters. He's dealing with complex situations and most Fed chairs have had a little bit of trouble early on, on how they communicate. And of course, this Fed communicates a lot, the banker said, adding that perhaps Powell and the central bank should communicate a lot less. In the aftermath of the decision, Wall Street hunkered at session lows, s.